Hello and welcome to Assetify version 2. Animation support is here and it's here on a very wide scope. We can now process armatures, characters, keyframe animations. We can support geometry node animations in shape of Alembic, but even in shape of GLTF export, because we now have functionality to convert geometry node animations to shape keys. And we can do the same for cloth animations. We can also convert these to shape keys in an automatic way and export these as GLTF. It's a very easy and straightforward way. It now supports texture baking, right? Image sequence baking. So your entire frame range, your beautifully animated textures can be baked in an automatic way, right? That includes texture sets for color, for roughness, for metallic values, for alpha maps as well, and for the bump, of course. Um, and it also supports transferring attributes from your geometry nodes into your textures, which means that if you have textures that use attributes from geometry nodes to define color, bumps, whatever, you can actually transfer these to your texture bakes as well, which is just amazing. So let me give a bit more insight in all of that. And the first one is, well, character animation, armature animation, of course, is one of the most basic ones. And um, we can set this to be an ABC process and export and so that will work completely fine and uh, we can also set it to an FBX processing and export and every processing will treat it slightly different um, uh, but both will work nonetheless there we go then we have cloth animations that we can actually export as shape keys now right so that is a very easy way to export for whatever program and you won't need to export physics simulations whatsoever. You can just process this as shape keys, which makes it that much easier. Then next up, we have geometry node functionalities as well. So we can actually export this as shape keys, process it to shape keys, and we can even convert attributes to still work, attributes we stored from the geometry nodes and bake those into the textures, which means we end up with a very simple shape key animation that also uses a PNG sequence for each of the texture sets, right? That means roughness, color, whatever. Then for example, a flower, right? An alien flower geometry node setup, we can export that for shape keys as well and it will work fine. This is completely made out of curves, but we can actually convert this, add instances, whatever, process it to shape keys, and we can then just as easily export it to GLTF and import it back in. Here you'll see me import it as GLTF or export it first, of course, then import it back change the custom split normals this moss as well animate the moss it is completely done procedurally in geometry nodes we can color it with geometry nodes then we can process it for shape key exporting and it works quite well we can see the shape keys right here they are keyframed for every range and then we have shader sequences. For example, this beautiful paint texture from Blender Kit, we can just bake it as a sequence. It will bake the sequence for your scene range. We'll get the sets for each color, roughness, normal, and alpha and metallic. Yes, that's it. And we can append it back in. Same for this rain texture. We even work with alpha maps sequences, right? So we can just bake that and then import it back in, test it out, frame range for all the custom sets, and we can just add it back into our principal BSDF, which means that is the easiest way to export it as well to other programs. Right, you'll see me adding it here, and it looks and works perfectly fine. Now, these were just the prime examples, the most, well, I would say extensive new update features, but there are some other stuff as well. There's other types of animations you can export and process and there is also different types of formats that I haven't covered in this video yet but I really would like you to figure out what you would need it for and I would also love it if you could give me some feedback on it and because it is just me it is quite a lot of new stuff to test um, with a limited amount of time and resources and so I would love the community support if you try out the animation section please let me know how it goes what you're missing what doesn't work quite well yet I would love to run some more updates and tweak things so that everything becomes easier for you guys as well um, so if you like a certified version 2, please let me know. If you don't like it, let me know too. And um, 